as we are swiftly approaching the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. This fourth week of Sunday, liturgy opens with that beautiful prayer. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel. What a beautiful prayer. That's what we see from today's gospel. How angel visited our blessed mother. This happens in our daily life too. God never abandoned his people. Rather, he sent his angel to visit his people and the angel visited our Blessed Mother, an ordinary, simple girl. In the midst of her ordinary life, we need to remember the angel was not visited her while she was praying with the community or in the synagogue but in her own very ordinary circumstance the angel visited her and greeted her with the beautiful words hail full of grace and the second part of the gospel we see how through angel God revealed the plan, great plan for all generations to come. To this little girl, she heard everything humbly and asked and expressed her unworthiness innocence but this passage we see everything is possible for God nothing is impossible for God connected with our present situation we also need to understand God can send his angels God can speak to us in any circumstance we live it can be in our workplace, it can be in our own home, might be when we are doing very humble, simple work. In any circumstance, God can speak to us. He can speak to us through words as well as events. And God can reveal his plan, wonderful plan for all of us. So therefore, it is very, very important we need to be open to hear what he wants us to. He wants to speak to us. We need to be open our eyes to see what God wants us to see. That openness is very important. And the last part of the gospel we know our Blessed Mother said, Yes. She said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. I am the servant. Let it be done according to thy word. We can also give. As we are going to celebrate this Christmas, with all our difficulties, with all our fears, uncertainties we can also say here I am we can believe nothing is impossible for God whatever the difficulties we are going through we all have many difficulties many worries but remember nothing is impossible for God based on that word of God with that faith, may our Blessed Mother help us to say, 
behold the handmaid of the lord let it be done according to thy word